Hello, and welcome to the video for what is the random float node? We actually have four different nodes to look at. The random float node basically returns back, depending on which node we're using, a random float value within a certain range. The default node, random float, if we were to run this, I'm going to loop it through six times, it's going to give us back a value between 0 and 1. You can see the different values here. If we run it again, 7, 2 is our first one. Run it again. 1, 4 is our next one. It's a randomized value between 0 and 1, and that's it. So if you need a float between 0 and 1, or you just need a float value that you can then later multiply to fit your needs, random float fits well your needs. The second one is the random float in range. It works like the random float, except you could actually choose the minimax. No longer are you restricted to between 0 and 1. We could do 0 and 10, for example, and end up with values 9, 4, 5. But you can also use negative as a minimum. So we could go with negative 10 as our minimum. And now we'll end up with values between positive 10 and negative 10 for our float. And of course, every time we run it, every time this node is activated, we'll get back a different random variable. The last two versions are our stream versions. They are identical to our random float and random float and range nodes, except a stream feeds in the values to determine which random number comes back out. If you want more information on the random streams, please refer to the videos. But basically, random streams are predetermined random numbers, so you can recreate those values later on. So, for example, if we were to run this one and save this and actually feed in a random stream, you're going to find that you have 0.45 and 0.25 as your first values here. And every time we run it, we actually get back the same set of random values because we're using a random stream. And that's it. Those are your random float nodes. They give you back a random float in either a 0 to 1 range or a custom range of a minimum and a maximum. 